Hello. Yes, it's very bright. It's very bright. Is that too bright? It's a little weird. It might be too bright. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes. There we go. Yeah, the volume's all the way up. That's great. Um, hi, it's Allison in the kitchen. Woo! I gotta adjust this. What happens if I do turn this off? It's probably fine. No, that see, that would be too dark. So yes, we're gonna go and just freaking blast it and be with it. Hey, hey, yeah, we're making something. We're making the thing. So this is this is like a recipe for kids. This is like so dumb. This is so easy. This is like, pfft, it, it, it really, this is so lame. Um, I am actually using equipment. You could use a wire whisk or a fork. I am going to use, this is my Auntie Marion's extremely old regular hand mixer. Not fancy at all, at all, at all, at all. Plug this in. There, that's plugged in. Tra la 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 hi. So what am I doing? Do, do, do. I need yes, here we go. Boop boo boo. Iced tea. Mmm. So I am sure, very sure, you've all made pudding in your lives. This is jello pudding. Chocolate fudge. Now it's important because we're making we're making fake mousse. Really fake. It's not right. But we're using chocolate fudge because it's super rich. Now it says here to mix it with two cups of milk. Tra la la la. Now this is the world's lowest calorie chocolate. Like I said, this was just one of those low cal food experiment things. I think I put raspberries in it too. It was fun. Now it says two cups of milk. <coughs> that, mind you, is the sugar free. And this is the non-fat, fat-free milk. You could use whole milk. You could use the sugary kind. But what for these purposes of this experiment, we are using sugar-free pudding, and we are using non-fat milk, and sugar-free Cool Whip. Ugh, I have pudding powder up my nose. It's so gross. Okay. I'm going to get a big spoon. This is the sugar-free Cool Whip. Cool Whip makes like eight different kinds. They make a, <clears throat> a low, they're all low fat. There's like a non-fat, a light, an extra creamy. But generally, if you're going to eat Cool Whip, which is normally quite sugary and high in fat, just get whipped cream. Just get whipped cream. Whipped cream is better. But for this, we're using sugar-free Cool Whip. This has 20 calories a serving. What does this have? <coughs> a serving. Uh... 30 calories a serving. That's like with the milk. So it's like 50 calories tops in this whole thing. And here's what they're going to do. We're not putting the whole two cups in. I'm doing like one and a half. Maybe one. I don't know. But here we go. Like I said, this doesn't get easier than this. Milk. I know, I don't put Cool Whip on things. This is the only time I use Cool Whip is in a recipe. There are certain recipes that you need to have um, Cool Whip in. Normally, I just make whipped cream or get ready whip in the can. But Cool Whip has this weird, nice, artificial, foamy texture that really works for this. sugar in this thing. It's very weird. Instant, instant, and instant. Like I said, this is... Ooh, I need, a, I need a scraper. I need a spatula. I need a scraper. It's sticky to the side. I like that. Scrapey thing, scrapey thing. La, 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 la. There we go. Scrapey, scrapey, and scrapey. Get in there. Stir, 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 stir. Mm -hmm. A little more milk. Just a little bit. But not, not the two cups. We're not using all the milk. It's sticking. They said this should start to even... Yeah. It's like in five minutes it starts to set up.
ready to let it mess. Now, oh, it's thickening. It's thickening already. Yay. Now, what you should have is pudding, super pudding, less milk. Now, this stuff, oh, like I said, I'm like, Cool Whip, ew. I generally, my reaction to Cool Whip is ew. Like, why have pretend when whipped cream is so simple and readily? I'm not sure why they invented Cool Whip. But it's that styrofoam quality that I'm looking for. Because whipped cream is good, but this is the thing. We dump a bunch of Cool Whip, ew, into this here almost, almost set pudding. And we stir it. Now we stir it gently. As I say, fold. What was that on Chit's great? Fold the cheese. Fold. And we fold it in to this mixture. There you go. Yes. Because you don't want to use the beaters. You don't want to like squish it. You want it very foamy. Very gently mix the pudding. There we go. And the Cool Whip. Scrapey, scrapey. Pull that pudding in there. Scrape, scrape, scrape. It's like, ew. Well, now what? Dessert glasses. <coughs> really? Seriously? It's foamy. It's very chocolatey and foamy. One of the things that makes this really good is if you puree raspberry, strawberry, some kind of fruit and mix it into the pudding before you add the cool. That also helps a lot. Makes it good. But as you see, it's very fluffy. Gooey, there we go, and fluffy. And we're gonna chill this. Ah, la, 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 la. That's what he says he needs to refrigerator. Thank you. Very cold. Very cold in this refrigerator. That's good. We're gonna let that chill for a minute. It doesn't need steak for this. Now, right away, I'm tasting this. Okay, let's see. Here is it. Yeah. It's not quite pudding. It's foamy. It's foamy pudding, which would be moose if it was like real. You fling this in the sink because it's gross. <laughs> now I'm going to take the beaters off of here and my measuring cup and my spoon. I'm going to throw that on the thing. And I still have Cool Whip left over, which I don't know what I'll do with it because I generally don't really like Cool Whip. <laughs> but it really works for this silly recipe. I'm telling you, it really does. It's amazing. Put that down there. Has it been five minutes? It hasn't been five minutes yet. I'm so glad I paper towels. So, okay, I took sugar-free pudding, non-fat milk, and sugar-free Cool Whip. So it's like air, air, artificial sweetener, and air is what I just made. And if you puree fruit, raspberries, strawberries, what have you, it gets really interesting. But generally, that's the dealio, is you make that and, okay, real chocolate mousse. If you've been to France and had the real chocolate mousse, it's amazing. I, I think it's something they feed the cows. It's the cream, something they do to their mousse in France. I think it's what they, how they raise the cows. I, I have no idea. Um... But something they do in France makes their chocolate mousse take this form. It's, it's a different texture as well as a different taste than any mousse I've had in America. And I mean like when I've gone to really, really good restaurants in L.A. or New York where they were very, very French and they had really, really good chocolate mousse. And it was great chocolate mousse. Still, 
when I went to Paris, I could go to the cheapest little sidewalk cafe and get mousse and go, yep, not the same thing. <laughs> and it was still better. So I don't know. They're feeding, feeding the cows. I don't know. Was it a Cherry Blossom Festival happening in 2021? Well, yes, it just happened. Cherry Blossom Festival is in um, April. And we did it. We were there. We went. It was fabulous. You should have been there. It'll be there, I guess, next year in 2022 as well. Um, there you go. But pureed raspberries. So what this is, this is very pretend chocolate. It's very pretend. But it's super, super low cal. Like I said, it's like, what is it, 20 calories, the pudding, and 30 for the Cool Whip. It's like a 50 calorie thing. It's ridiculous. So... This was a thing. I had a bunch of friends who were on these super, super extreme low sugar diets. And they're like, I don't know what to eat. And I'm like, well, let me fool around in the kitchen. Okay, like wheat and gluten. I made a wheat-free stuffing for a Thanksgiving turkey. Did wild rice. Did wild rice and uh, red grapes. It was very clever. And there was no, no bread stuffing. So I, I did a thing where I had all these experimental recipes for my friends who, I can't eat this, I can't eat that, I can't have sugar, I can't have dairy, I can't have gluten. I went, let's see how we can make it without that. Um, really fun, really fun way. To, well, of course, meat. I don't eat beef, so, oh, shepherd's pie, spaghetti sauce, meatloaf, with, with turkey or with vegetarian filling. So I'm big in, like, switching stuff out and they have a replacement for everything now there's there's dairy-free milk and wheat-free flour and everything but I did an experimental thing a while back of making recipes changing them up completely which is what the galloping gourmet did remember the galloping gourmet I loved him the galloping gourmet he made all this rich stuff with butter for years on his show the galloping gourmet and then many many years later he had <laughs> He had a massive heart attack. It was quite unfortunate. He got very sick. He had a heart attack. He got older. All that butter went to the arteries. And he, he had a massive heart attack. He developed cardiac issues. And he got quite sick. And the doctor said, he's not eating like that anymore. And he went on this really major diet. And he stopped eating so much fat. He ate a much lighter, lighter diet. And he took up exercise. And then he did a new cookbook. And he did a new show. And it was marvelous because he redid all of his recipes low fat. It was marvelous, lovely. So there you go. Only uh, someone's on only Nutella diet. Nutella, I can't eat. Okay, I like chocolate and sweet things, and I cannot eat Nutella. I cannot eat freaking Nutella. It's like it's just too much. It's too much. It's too sweet. Even when something's too sweet for me. <laughs> All right, I'm. It's, I think it's been almost five minutes. I'm gonna take these out of the fridge now. I've been vamping here to take these out of the fridge here. Say, break things here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's solid. Lovely. The heck have I done? Ta-da. Spoon! You know, sometime I'll show you how to make like, you know, I don't know, real chocolate mousse. Look at that. Look at that. It's not like pudding. It's this weird, thick, foamy, foamy stuff. Mmm! It's like mousse. It's like chocolate mousse. It's the texture of real chocolate mousse. It doesn't taste like chocolate mousse in Paris, but it's not like regular jello pudding. This tastes like a mousse. It's all foamy. And because remember I said I used the pack, it said two cups of milk, and I used like one and a half, just barely. Don't use as much milk as it says in the recipe. And then add like two cups of Cool Whip, fold it in gently, stick it in the fridge. You should probably put it in the fridge even longer. The longer you put it in, the more it solidifies and gets more mousse-like. But look at this. Oh, freaking amazing. Leger, leger mousse, oui. Pas sucre. Sans sucre total. Sans sucre, très, très léger, le mousse. But it's really, it's really good. It does, if you said... You could serve this, and if you didn't tell me this is sugar-free jello chocolate pudding, non-fat milk, and a bunch of Cool Whip, I wouldn't know. Am I freezing? Am I freezing? No, oh, no, internet, don't freeze. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. Came back. Um, it's pretty good. I have no idea who's calling me. Let's see. Is it someone I want to talk to? Oh, it's poor Harlan. It's my publicist checking in. We should talk to him. Should we talk to him on here? Mm. All right. I'm going to answer the phone. This is going to be funny. Hello. Hello. I 
am good. I am actually, well, I'm just finishing up. I am doing my live cooking show. Do you want to say hi? He said hello. That's how, that's my publicist, Harlan. I just made sugar-free chocolate mousse. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay, this is good. See, I can tell you this. So this is my publicist. He got he gets calls from people all the time saying, I have this fantastic picture. There's this article, and we're running this great picture of Allison. Every day he gets this. And we have this great picture of Allison and her mom. And he says, oh, perfect. You know, Casper. He says, I don't have as many of those. I, I, those are great. Send them, send them. And they sent it. And he had to call him back and say, this is a great photo of Allison. But that's not her mother. It's Carol Channing. So people see me next to Carol Channing, and they think it's my mom. Raspberries! It could have been a green glass. So I, I am secretly the child of Carol Channing. No, not, not. That's pretty good. <laughs> right, that's a new rumor. Wait, weren't you her father or something? Yeah, so wait, are you my grandpa now? It's very complicated. That makes him my grandpa. It's very, everyone's related to Carol Channing. Did you know that? Did you know everyone's related to Carol Channing? It's true. All right. Well, I will call you right back. I will uh, finish my moose and, and sign off. But that was a good story, and they're very entertained. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See? This is, what, this is what publicists do. This is my publicist, Harlan, and this is what he gets stuck doing. Is Allison's mother Carol Channing? No, no, what is wrong with you? No, he has to do this all day. So there we go. This is how you make sugar-free foamy mousse. That's like nothing. It's like I'm not eating, I'm eating air. But it's super, because it is Jell-O brand chocolate fudge, chocolate fudge flavor. It's very chocolatey. It's usually things that are sugar-free taste like sawdust. Um, this does not. This tastes ex super sweet and chocolatey, and it's it's sugar-free cold whip and sugar-free pudding, and it's freaking amazing. And if you puree some fruit, fling some raspberries, you will fool your friends. Your friends will not know what the heck you're serving them. And it's it's like 50 calories. <laughs> so okay, we'll make something rich and disgusting next week, probably with lots of sugar. But there you go. This is my magic inst instant chocolate mousse. It's what that is. So thank you, and I'll see you later um today.